Hello guys, I am back again, but this time to talk about great news. In this video, I will be talking about the Biden immigration plan 2021. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. If you're not new, welcome back and just go ahead and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. For those who don't know me, my name is Bijun Gwanda. I'm an immigration lawyer in the DC metropolitan area. Okay, I do work with individuals around the United States and around the world because we deal with U.S. immigration laws i was gonna say immigration news but u.s immigration laws okay let's just get right into it number one asylum what is going to happen the major thing that is going to happen with asylum is that biden is expected to terminate the return to mexico policy what is it return to mexico policy it's a policy that was placed uh that was put into place during the trump administration basically requiring people uh, entering the united states to the uh, borders of um, uh, central america those like guatemala the, all those country el salvador all those country in central america People were entering the United States to those borders were required to stay in Mexico while their case was pending with the U.S. Uh, asylum office. Okay, it's not like, you know how you, you get to the U.S. and then you file for your asylum case and you're just waiting for that to be adjudicated in the U.S. but with the return to Mexico policy, uh, the Trump administration was actually requiring people, those people, again, I, I'm talking about uh, Central America and some countries in uh, South America, they people coming from them, from those countries, sorry, uh, asking for asylum were required to stay in Mexico or return if they're already here, return to Mexico and stay there waiting there for the asylum case to be adjudicated but biden has promised that from day one what he's going to do is he's going to terminate that policy basically just allowing people to ask for the asylum um to fight for the asylum case in the u.s and wait for it for the response in the u.s that's the major thing and as far as asylum is concerned uh, I guess the, the law surrounding a work permit, maybe, I'm not sure, I didn't hear that, but I'm pretty certain that uh, maybe it's gonna go back to the way it used to be for uh, like 150 days from the day to file asylum to apply for your work permit. Because now it's like you have to wait for a full year, 360 days. I'm pretty sure that is going to get a revision as well. But please uh, understand that Biden said that this is not going to take, it's not going to be easy. It's not going to take just one day to do that. It can take up to six months for that return to, uh, to Mexico policy to actually, uh, after it has been terminated, to actually... Uh, follow it's um how do you say it basically to for people to actually stay in the u.s it might take six months for that policy to actually uh take effect after ha it has been terminated even even though it, it, it gets terminated from day one okay i guess i'm i clear that uh, one up i'm gonna leave uh, the description uh in the description box below check the description box uh, um, i'm going to leave a lot of description basically explaining what is the return uh, to Mexico policy and what Biden is expected to do once he, he gets into power on January 20 of this month. Okay, let's move on to the next topic. The, the second topic is refugee. How is Biden going to handle refugee? Basically, Biden has stated that he is going to raise the cap. Okay, this is really great news. I'm so excited about this because with the refugee uh, cap for people entering the United States with the refugee status, either you 
came with the status from um, from your country of origin of, or country of residence, or you got the status here, the cap was only 15,000 a year. But Biden has promised to raise that cap to 150,000 a year. 150,000 a year, that's major jump, okay? Again, it's not gonna take like the first day uh, of Biden in office doing it, but in the course of his administration, first term, of course, he's going to do that, okay? Let's go to number three. Number three is DACA, okay? This is my favorite topic because I've been talking about DACA at, like over and over. You can go ahead and watch my videos on how to fill out your DACA application. Um, basically, you fill out that application with um, I-765, that the work permit, and the actual DACA application, which is I-821D okay both combined that's how you apply for daca remember you have to first look at your eligibility criteria to make sure that you are actually qualified before you apply and if you do not know your qualification please call my office uh, the number is 202-946-2922 i am there to help you and to work walk you through the process of uh, daca Okay, we know that DACA has been fully restored uh, with the court order, basically ordering the D DHS. I get this was really messed up, but DHS, the Department of Homeland Security, the court has ordered them to restore DACA to take new applicants, and we know this is actually going on. But what is uh, Biden promising? Because we know DACA is not a status, it's just a lawful presence in the United States. So how is uh, Biden going to make, uh, uh, to, to explore DACA a little further? You know, Biden has promised that he will open a path to citizenship for DACA recipients. That is his words, and we're waiting for it to happen. But you know, remember with the uh, path opening up for US citizenship uh, for a lot of recipients like DACA or for asylum or asylee people, uh, this is really something that has to pass through Congress, okay? And then we know that with amnesty, it goes with date. They have cut out date, for instance, they will say from this date to this date, people who enter the United States and are still illegal, um right now or for in, in a case for daca they they, they have their, their lawful presence as daca are going to get uh amnesty and they are going to open a path for u.s citizenship we don't know the specifics yet but once we get the specifics i will come again back right here on my channel to actually uh, give you the details of those specifics that's why it's so important go ahead and just subscribe and if you like the content come on just don't be stingy this is 2021 go ahead and just give us a like you know, so that uh, YouTube will actually share these videos with people who actually need th those type of information. Okay, this is 2021. 20, you have to not be stingy with those um, likes and stuff like that. Okay, so DACA, again, Biden is going to open a path to U.S. citizenship. But again, when we say that Biden is going to open a path for DACA recipients, we mean that it's going to be uh, available for them to apply for US citizenship and they still have to apply and you still have to make the, the qualification criteria and you still have to take the civic uh, test because that's just how you get the US citizenship. It's not just gonna be automatic, okay? And once we get the detail, I'm just gonna come back right here and explain that to you again but this is really great news and if you want to get ahead of yourself you can go ahead and watch my videos on um how to fill out a u.s citizenship uh, of application and then i have other i'm gonna uh, put another video basically tutorials on those um 100 civics tests and for instance with the new uh civics test it's one 
28 questions. I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna start with the old version first and then I'm gonna progress with the new version and so forth. So just um, stay tuned for those type of videos, okay? And the fourth point, which is the last one I'm gonna be talking about to today is the immigration ban. I already gave a lot of explanation about immigration ban, who's concerned, who's not concerned. Go ahead and watch my two previous videos, the one I posted today and the one I've posted a long time ago when those proclamations came out. Uh, so what's going to happen with the immigration ban? We are expecting Biden. That's just what he said. He said that we have to expect from him. From him. What he's going to do is he's going to repeal all those Trump um, immigration ban, especially with uh, skilled workers, H-1B visa. So, and family, they have to re reunite with their members. So this is going to really be a great news if um, Biden follow through with his promises, but we are hoping that Biden's gonna follow through with his promises. It's gonna take some time. So we, we have to give him at least six months, according to himself, to put those agencies, because uh, they have to put those laws again into place, put the agency to enforce those laws. It it's a process, so it's gonna take some time, but it is something to look forward to. And that's great news for January 1st, 2021. Again, happy new year. I wish you the best for yourself and your family. Keep your chin up and keep looking forward to the great news coming and keep coming. Again, my name is Gwanda, Immigration Lawyer. Go ahead and share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because you do not want to miss out. Okay, bye-bye.